Hey, you my super beautiful, lovely, gorgeous souls. Welcome. I'm doing a quick pick a pile today. This is going to be sort of twin flame related, soulmate connection related, in separation, something you're struggling with, and sort of some energy that's coming in to help you with your struggle uh, in this separation, in this current energy, and the current state of the world. And I'm going to leave timestamps. So, pile one, pile two, or pile three. And don't forget to like and subscribe. All right. Love and light to everybody. Let's get into this with the first pile. All right. Current struggle for you, first pile. We've got guilt. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. Yes. Hard as it is, sometimes we have to forgive ourselves and release guilt for things that we did or didn't do. Sometimes we may have been too involved in something or not involved enough. And this really has to do with forgiving yourself, letting go, um, coming to acceptance about your lessons and your mistakes, and you know, kind of just relieving yourself of this feeling of this emotion of this sort of hardship type energy feeling. You know, it could be that you have some guilt over, um, you know, maybe surviving something or overcoming something, and you know, in in some ways, it might still be haunting you. So let's see your message for help. So we've got awareness. Pay attention to the subtleties. Look with new eyes. There are signs and omens everywhere. So is this also, could this feel like you're like afraid to do something? You're afraid to make a move because of guilt. You're afraid to let someone down because of guilt. Spirit is trying to convey to you. If you look very closely, they're trying to give you signs and nudges and they're putting ideas in your head good positive ideas like things in your head that are popping up like about moving or changing careers or getting rid of somebody toxic from your life so spirit is working very hard to try to bring this to you they're trying to communicate with you through your dreams they're trying to communicate with you through music and any type of avenue they can use so definitely releasing the guilt i release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth i want you guys to say that Say that to yourself, form a mantra, if you will. And just know that there is awareness around you. You just have to look with different eyes. You just have to sort of try to see things a little bit differently about this whole situation. Um, and if it's over guilt, like something you feel like you did or didn't do over your twin flame, spirit's like, we're, we're trying to bring the awareness that that's not the case, okay? So we're trying to ease your mind about that. Um, I hope these messages were helpful. Thank you. All right, let's get into the second set of messages. Pile two, worry. I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. Absolutely. So you could be worried about your twin flame. You could be worried about the state of the world, about your current state, about your future, about what's going to happen, not only just with your twin flame, but just in life in general. There's a lot of that right now. The energy in the earth is so heavy with this worry. But it could be that you've been like this your whole life and then encountering your twin and going through these stages with them has only caused more anxiety and only caused more worry. And you're worried that you won't get done what you need to get done in order to ascend together, to reunite together. You might be worried they're not doing what they need to do. So I feel like Spirit's like, just ease up on that. You're not meant to know certain things about that. I feel like Spirit's like, try to only worry about what you can control and forget what you can't. Um, so let's get a message. What's the message to help here? So we've got expectation. Be open for whatever comes next. It might just be the music your heart's been waiting to hear. So it could be that you're resistant on something too, like resistant on a change or you're worried about the outcome of a change that you make. But Spirit's like, this is well overdue. You need this change. You've outgrown your old self. You know, you don't fit in your old self anymore. That's what this is about. And it might be causing you worry because you might feel like you're losing yourself a little bit, but really you're gaining yourself. You're gaining more insight and power over your situations because you're sort of listening to your intuition a little bit more. You're listening to those inner things more and more. But what I'm getting from Spirit is drop expectations of certain people because I feel like certain people with you only lead to certain disappointments. So I feel like Spirit's like, don't worry about what's happening like outside of your direct life like don't worry about anything else but you at this time because we're sort of trying to 
mold you and trying to push you and, and nudge you along in the right way that's going to feel right and feel good and feel better for you and healed for you and it'll help ease your mind so they're trying to ease your mind like don't worry about um what somebody hasn't done or what they have done for you i feel like don't feel like you have to have such high expectations of yourself Spirit's it's like live a little try to relax a little it's okay this is driving you crazy this is making you sick we don't want that we want healthy we want abundance we want growth we want positivity we want healing and all the good okay so lower those expectations all right let's get on to pile number three so if you chose pile three one of your challenges is regret i know i cannot change the past absolutely not you can't Nothing you say or do will change what has happened. Nothing. Sometimes the past to somebody is so significant they can't even live their future because of it. So I'm getting from spirit to sort of, I'm just going to sit down, to sort of let go of this regretfulness. Like whatever happened between you and your twin, you can't blame yourself or your soul, soul person. You can't blame yourself, okay? I feel like you were always worried about this. You were always worried about, oh, there's this, I'm going to regret doing this. Like, it's almost like you foresaw this, I feel like I'm getting from spirit. So knowing that you can't change the past, yeah, unfortunately you can't. You can try to reach out and try to fix things. Um, but if the person that you want to do that with is not ready, it just simply won't work. So I feel like you might have had to sit with this for a little while to understand it and understand that, you can't live with regret because everything is for a lesson. Everything is for a learning purpose. So there is no wrong answer, no right answer is what I'm trying to say. It's like when you're in school and you're afraid to give the answer because you're afraid you're going to say the wrong answer. That's what it's like here with this. It's like there's no wrong answer. Whatever caused this, there was a lesson attached to it. So try to find what that was. Try to see the blessing in the lesson, I like to say. And see if that can help you overcome the regret a little bit. But what I'm getting from Spirit is nothing you did wrong. It's nothing that you should or shouldn't have done. There's there's nothing with that. It was like just timing, like a timing thing. So let's see what we get for your message. And we've got manifestation. This is your message for help. So your dreams have untold energy. Open the door and let them live. Desire and belief are your power. So I feel like you have to start to believe that good is going to come to you. You have to start to start to believe that you deserve good, happy, prosperity. You deserve abundance. You deserve all these things. You deserve to forgive yourself and to forgive others and release that burden. You deserve to clear out the darker parts of your past and transform, manifest what you want to see, how you want to see yourself living. Where do you want to see yourself? Like, what type of energy do you want to see yourself in? Okay. Spirit's like, you have the power to do this. You have the absolute power to do this. And you don't really understand how powerful you are just yet. And you have like this magnetic energy. So Spirit's like, you have to use that to call back your power. Call back manifestation. Call back healing and, and release regret. Release frustrations. Release doubts. I hope that these were helpful. I hope you guys like these little mini readings. And if you'd like to see more, smash that thumbs up button so I know. And leave some comments if any of these messages resonated. And don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. Love and light.